Hello traders, welcome to freetradingvideos.com. Today will be an educational one. I'm going to show you a new pattern. Alrighty, we're looking at blood BLU. D in this formation we're above all the major moving averages but I want to show you a new formation if you would get out a pencil and paper and take this down you'll hear this one time um, here what I'm looking for is something going northbound making higher highs higher swing lows but I need a big up leg right here and you can see this up leg here and then I need a down leg to come down I need something that looks very similar to the right of this an up leg and then a down leg. You can see there's a gap here. We're going to connect that gap. You come over here, and there's a little bit of a gap right here, and we got to connect that gap. So you have what looks to be two triangles. At the same time, we have a swing low here, and we come up, and then we come across. Now, we just have the higher swing high and this lower swing low going down below the moving averages. Now, a lot of times what you'll see is the chart that will look something like it will bounce around, something like this, and then it will head northbound. Then it will come down, and then it will come back up. So if you ever see a pattern like this, you want to pay special attention to what's taking place at that point. So I'm going to come over here, let's get another color, and what you'll see is these a rounding formation that will start to play out. And this rounding formation will start to just go all the way through the chart as so. And, and you'll come down and they usually just round themselves out down at the bottom also. And then to the right, you'll get this big, long, round motion. And then if you're really, really lucky, what you'll get is this nice little stem right here at the top. <laughs> so I want to wish everybody a very safe Halloween. And happy trading to each and every one of you. And let's get right into technical analysis. All righty, here we are. The S&P Daily on Friday. The markets drop big time. Boom, the markets crack. Two and a half percent drop on the Dow. The S&P dropped 2.8%. The NASDAQ down 2.5% and a whopping 3% on the Russells. Mark my words, you will not see the markets drop that much, very, very much in your lifetime. And the VIX spiked almost 24%. That is ginormous. And we are back over 30 points on the VIX. Gang, like I was saying earlier in this week, things look very, very bearish. And here we are as a rising wedge. There's a rising wedge. We also had a bearish divergence on the MACD using 5, 9, and 2. We are below, at this very moment, below the zero line on the histogram. So, And we're making lower lows on those swings. Now watch this. Let's blow this up, bring in some more data here. What a choppy end of the week. Wednesday, we come crashing down, and the day before, I said, mark my words, things are going to get nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh, I think I said that on, um, yeah, I said that on da, 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 Tuesday, and then we had the very next day, Wednesday, big crack. Thursday, we come rallying back, even making a higher high. I did not do the video this day. And then Friday, we come crashing down, making new lows, cracking a major support line. And let's go over just a few support areas I want you guys to watch for on the S&P. We have major support at 1032. That's coming from that swing right there. We have more, This swing low will put us right here at 1025. And then these guys right here puts us at 1012. And then down here on this swing, um, sub 1000. So those are some areas to expect some hang up. 
Watch this. I'm going to also bring in the weekly. Here's the weekly. The weekly broke major support. Look at this. Support, support, support. We broke it. The week ended breaking support. That is bad news. Also a bearish divergence here on the MACD. And we do not want to miss out on the monthly. The monthly, check this dude out. Resistance, resistance, boom. If we zoom in and really look at this, we have a bearish Harami. We did make a higher, higher low, but a bearish Harami with that trend line acting as perfect resistance. Earlier this week, we were higher, and I said, mark my words, chances are we will come right back down, and that line should act as resistance, and that's precisely what it did. What we're looking for here is any sort of drop below for the next month. If we can get below, I'd say, wow, if we can, if we can get below that 10, 12 mark, and we were seeing that 10, 12 right here. Wow. Yeah, if we can get below this 10, 12 mark on the S&P um, um, in November, which I think will be easily done, we're in a heap loads of trouble. And let's look at the spiders just to get an idea of what volume did today. Pull this up. And you can see this drop, monster volume. On the up day, we had just smaller volume but on these down days look at the volume increase and we I was warning you on this you know last week on a few of the videos that this volume really tells us what's going on out there and you want to pay attention to it so um, watch the market, watch the sector, sector rotations, watch those financials. The financials are showing a lot of weakness right now, and we do not want to be caught up in this market. So be very careful looking at that. And I will tell each and every one of you, if you're in long positions, get your stop losses in place. And if you know and you're comfortable with the bear side, be looking at puts if you're an option player. Be looking um, at just shorting this if you're comfortable with shorting stocks or there's bear or ultra or what we call inverse ETFs that are out there that you can play to the positive side, but you only make money if the markets crash and burn. So thank you for being a part of free trading videos. Happy trading to each and every one of you.